Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am so freaking excited because I'm going to be doing a review and a wear test of the newly released L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Fresh Wear Foundation. Now this has recently been launched in India and this foundation has been raved about by a lot and I mean a lot of YouTubers. May their skin type be oily, dry or normal, everyone loves it. And also a quick shout out to Jayanti who kind of reminded me to get this foundation as well. So if you have not already, do not forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload. And now let's jump right into the video. So I picked out 260 Golden Sun for myself and for shade reference with other foundation, I'll put it on the description box below. Do check that out. Now this foundation comes in 11 shades and is priced at 1200 rupees for 30 ml of product. Now coming to the US counterpart, this is being sold at $14.99 which is close to 1033 Indian rupees which is not so bad at all because the price difference is less than 200 because I have seen so many brands where they hike up their prices like double or triple the original product pricing. Now having that said, coming to the shades, now they do offer about 30 shades in US, in India they offer only 11 shades and I really really wish they do expand it in the near future because even for my shade that is Golden Sun, there is one more shade in between which is actually missing called Golden Amber and then is Amber. So yeah. Now coming to the description and the claims of the product now it says that it's a foundation that blends in evenly and looks fresh all day and the claims are it is sweat proof, waterproof, transfer proof, lightweight and breathable, super blendable and lasts up to 24 hours which we are not going to test today but that's that. And for people who are particular L'Oreal is not cruelty free. Now let's finally move on to the application of the product. So I have zoomed you guys in and if you're new here, my skin is extremely oily. It's not just oily but one level above oily and I have a lot of pores, blemishes, redness, there's bumps, there are pits, everything wrong is on my skin. Now as always, this side of my face I'm going to use my beauty blender and for this side I'm going to use my foundation brush. And let's go with one pump of the foundation first and see where it goes. Okay, this foundation is liquidy. You guys see the drip? Yeah. It has a smell. The coverage, the shade is amazing by the way. Now, so far I am loving it because the shade match is on point, the coverage is beautiful, at the same time it is extremely light as well on the skin and it has covered up all the uneven skin tone, the redness, everything has been covered, the pores also seem to have been covered pretty well and it's good. So foundation, no foundation. Now moving to the brush side, again one pump. The only difference between the sponge and the brush side is that the brush actually required less amount of product compared to the sponge side but everything is the same, the product looks beautiful and everything is covered up and it's nice and I cannot repeat on how light this actually feels on the skin. So now I'm going to quickly do the concealer. The other thing that you would have to bear in mind is the fragrance of it because I personally do not have an issue but for some people who have sensitivity to fragrance this is a pretty strong smelling foundation like I can still get a faint smell of the foundation you know. Tell me, tell me, tell me. 
So this is how the foundation is looking so far and I forgot to mention I did not add any primer, highlighter or no setting spray because I want to see how the foundation works just on its own and the time right now is about 11.41 am and I'll quickly show you guys how the foundation looks in natural lighting as well. Hey guys and I am back right now and it has been over 5 hours and the time right now is 5.04 pm and this is how the foundation is looking like right now which I am so happy about because bear in mind I did not apply any primer or any setting spray I had some spicy spicy lunch as well as I was sitting not under the AC but more under the fan because the climate right now is a bit gloomy in Chennai but it was humid so if it was any other foundation by now my face would have been melting but this is a good sign. So overall it does look like a nice healthy glow except for the t-zone area though it looks an extra shiny so that alone is a little bit more extra oily apart from the rest of the face but there is no separation no messiness no cakiness or anything because of the oils which is a good sign now let me quickly zoom you guys in and show you how it's looking like so i have zoomed you guys in and as you guys can see the cheek area like i said it has a decent glow it's not that super slick oily kind of a greasy glow but it's a glow and just around the t-zone area alone the oil has become a bit more excess but right now if i had to just blot my face and do a little bit of touch up i'll be good to go for a few more hours so right now i'm not gonna do any touch up or blot my face and i just want to see how far i can push this foundation so i will see you guys in the last and final check-in hey guys welcome to the last and final check-in and the time right now is about 9.05 pm now it has been a little close to nine and a half hours mark and I don't think I have ever done any foundation review for this long but this foundation was and is an exception now don't get me wrong my skin is oily right now but it is not as oily as there have been other foundations that I've done a review like there are so many foundation which has become more oily than this in about three hours or four hours mark because of no primer and setting spray now for this foundation if I had to use a primer and setting spray it may have lasted even for more than 12 hours on my oily skin so the foundation especially on the t-zone area has become much more oilier than the rest of the face the cheek area it is still oily but it's not that bad and even at the sides of my nose there is no much of separation but it's just extra shininess because of the oily nose so yeah and I still like the fact that I can see my blush and a lot of my breakouts and blemishes are still not visible because a lot of foundation that the first thing that rubs off are the blemishes and it peeks through. So this has done a great job even after so long, nine and a half hours without a single touch up. I did not see my blemishes peeking out. There's no redness coming out at all. Now I'm going to quickly use some blotting sheets and see how the foundation looks after removing all the excess oil. So I've got a nice fresh sheet. gonna take another sheet now as you guys saw I had used about one and a half blotting sheets which is a big deal because every other foundation that I've ever reviewed it has gone close to only two sheets never been one and a half sheet so this is a good sign an extremely good sign and even after just blotting without using any other extra product or a loose powder or anything it still looks fresh and good I can still see my blush I can still see the good coverage on my blemishes and everything it's perfect 
Overall, this foundation stuck to its claim and it fucking delivered. Look at my skin right now. It still looks fresh. It's like I can still go out right now and people will not believe I applied makeup about 10 hours back. It's gonna be 10 hours right now. So this is an amazing foundation. It gave an amazing coverage. It blended beautifully. It was extremely lightweight and it lasted for so long on my oily, greasy ass skin. Now, I also like the fact that this foundation is so versatile because even though I have an extremely oily skin, it was not that life sucking out of me kind of a matte finish. Even if you have like a dry skin or a normal skin, this foundation will adapt to it and it will work just totally fine. So that is something that I really like about the formula of this foundation. Now coming to the downside, the only thing that I could think of is the shade range because 11 shades in 2019 by L'Oreal, it is too fucking less. So yeah, that's that. So overall, this foundation, it is totally worth buying for the 1200 rupees. Even with that price point, it is worth buying no matter what your skin type is. So guys, this wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload. Like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I'll try my best to do that for you. As well as follow me on my socials which is It's Nishanayar on Instagram and It's Nishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye. That's it.